this is House Ramirez. Y'all already know what's up. We're out here in Atlanta representing everybody that's doing something big in the world, right? So with me today, I have a very close friend of mine, Muzi. Muzi is extremely talented. He's giving us a, a, a viewpoint of what his vision is for film, and he's doing so much more. But without wasting any more time, I want Muzi to go ahead and tell you guys what exactly he's doing, where is he from, so Muzi, if you don't mind, thank you so much for being on my platform, but if you don't mind, let's go ahead and get started as to who you are and where you're from. Hi, um, well, my name is Muzi Mitkim. I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa, and I am a television and filmmaker uh, with my own production company uh, in Johannesburg, South Africa, called MVP Productions. Mm, I love it. I love it. You know, there's nothing like being your own successful entrepreneur and you're doing just that. So you're not only fueling dreams around you and making sure that you're successful and allowing others to be successful around you. You're giving everybody everywhere around the world the opportunity to see if you want something, go out there and get it. There's nothing stopping you. You just have to have that drive. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. So, yes, I think it's phenomenal that you have that drive to just conquer your dreams. A lot of people hold back from doing that because they're uncertain of what to do or what's going to happen. But um, when you bet on yourself and you, you know that you can be the best and you are the best, there's nothing that can stop you. And you're a perfect example of that. So I want to okay. thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, That's yes. <laughs> Um, so I want to ask you, like, can you please tell us what it is that you exactly do? You're a man of many hats, so you do many yeah. things, and you're yeah. great at it. But let our audience know, our readers, our listeners, and even um, our viewers know exactly what you do. So what MVP Productions does is that we develop, um, as well as produce, and now promoting um, our um, content of what, how we do really works so that we, um, for example, we, if we're doing a television series, we will assemble writers, we will assemble um, story editors, head writers to pretty much come up with the concepts of um, what we're doing. Hire crew. Uh, in the case of my movie African America, we hired um, crew from both um, South Africa as well as New York City. Um, so we are hiring from around the world to make our products happen and then after it's the grueling process of actually editing the work that, that we do, I'm very hands on, that's actually my favorite part of the whole process and then afterwards once it's done, we promote it and um, try to get our buyers from anyone who's interested in acquiring African content from around the world, you know, um, we get our product out to the marketplace and we promote it and we sell. Yes, yes, and that's phenomenal, you know you're very dedicated in your purpose because i can see it's your purpose it's something that you wake up and you can tell that you feel even excited telling me about it you know so you found your purpose and you're driven to conquer that every single day that you wake up and that's what i try to tell people you have to understand what it is you're good at what do you love to do so it doesn't become a job it becomes a hobby almost that you wake up and you're like i want to do this it's not hard for me to do this um, and you know, you're doing everything from A to Z. You're, you're not stepping back. You're very engaged in what you're doing. Um, you're making sure that there is an exact, you know, hands on deck from all different departments that you actually hire and you use for production. You make sure that you're there every step of the way. And that's very important as an entrepreneur. Um, you, you can't, you know, you can't you can't let go of something. You can't miss track of something. You always have to be quick on your feet. You always have to be able to pay attention to detail. And we can tell that you bet on yourself. You pay attention to detail. You care for others and you're fully determined to carry on your projects because you're great at what you do. You're Thank great you. at what you do. Thank you. And also, I think also with regards to being an entrepreneur, right? I think in the beginning, you have to be hands on so that you quality control of your product, you know, to make sure that it actually to the standard that you have. But also what's very important that I think for us entrepreneurs to remember that like, um, that some of our job also is including, includes hiring others and, and giving opportunities for other people to work in our organization. So ultimately I feel like you have a business 
once you actually can step away and the operation can actually run independent of you, you know, too often, I think in my country, you know, especially amongst um, black entrepreneurs, the business stops working the moment that the CEO goes on vacation or the moment the CEO dies, or, you know, the business stops working. So ultimately our goal as a business is to be detail oriented in every aspect of our organization, but also for the business to be fully self-sustaining. So the elephant can dance on its own pretty much. Uh, but for now, this is the, the beginning stages of the, of the business. And um, I'm very excited and honored to already be setting the standards for the company going forward, yeah. Yes, yes. And you know, you're right. You have to be able to put in that work initially to be able to mm -hmm. have that, that firm grip on things. So then later on, you're able to, you know, like you're doing now, you're going into philanthropy, you're doing so many different things. You're able to let that, like you said, let the elephant move forward on its own, let right. it do its right. own thing. You know, it has its groove and trust the process and trust others. Um, I do want to shout out my sister, Naomi, the owner of Purposely Awaken the magazine. Um, I have a partnership with her. So it's a House of Ramirez exclusive partnership with Purposely Awakened. And she's doing just that. You know, she's giving opportunity to others to, to take drive and take off into their dreams. And she's giving opportunity. And, you know, once we start trusting in each other, we help each other. Um, it, it just flows. It's a natural flow, you know, of life. And I think that that's amazing what you're doing. You're not only looking out for yourself, you're looking for others around you, you're looking out for them, and you're giving them opportunities. And that's what it's all about. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, yes. So I want to ask you, can you please tell us how it is that you got started? So at what point did you decide to make that turn into that direction of success that you're on today? Well, I've got to credit my parents, you know, a, a lot for that. Um, my parents uh, uh, were um, television um, producers back from as early as like the 1980s during the apartheid government's um, control of uh, um, the Republic of South Africa. And basically their broadcaster, um, the public broadcaster, finally thought to actually make content for Black people, you know, and so then they just had a a, a bunch of um, people um, who, of, of kind of South African um, citizens who um, came on board. My mother initially began as a newsreader um, and eventually worked her way up to being a commissioning editor. My father was somewhere in the sound department. The two of them got together and they formed what is now MVP Productions and they um, made uh, content um, ranging from kids content to like soap operas to drama series, a bunch of different things. And I grew up pretty much watching my parents, particularly my mother, you know, run the whole show. Um, but then came the, towards the end of the 90s and there was a bunch of mismanagement with the public broadcaster who was our main client. Um, and as a result of that, you know, work just dried up for them. But nonetheless, my mother um, still kept me and my sister, my business partner, um, Pumalel um, in um, the, the National School of the Arts, which is an arts school in, um, in South Africa, as well as taking us to university. I have a degree in um, screenwriting and performance and directing and all that. As soon as we graduated, both of us, my mother reminded us about this business, about this legacy that she left for us. And so um, she encouraged us to pursue it. As a result of that, we went back to the public broadcast and we made a made two seasons of a youth drama series called Mutual Friends. And it was great. But then again, like um, 2016, there was major corruption in um, the public broadcaster. And so, just like that, we didn't get renewed for our, for our third season. It was so tough. It was really, really, really difficult. But also, it was just seeing um, family history repeat itself, a family pattern just go over. Um, as, so then me and my sister, we resolved that we don't want to be that way. We also don't want to let the business um, fall by the wayside. So we've now approached international um, uh international uh, distribution of our, of, our, of our content and um that has just been incredible so now we're taking what used to be just a local production company now getting accepted into the pan-african film festival so such a big market we're now open to um selling to territories around the world so it's been an honor to step into my purpose and my legacy you know through uh, yeah through this film and absolutely in this time so that's how i 
I guess got started and, and then keep going, I guess. Yes. And, you know, that's such a success story. You know, you are destined for greatness. Um, you can tell that you have that drive from your mom or your dad um, to just keep that legacy going for your family. Um, big kudos to your parents, to your sister and to yourself. Um, it's not easy to to bring representation to our neighborhoods, to our countries, um, to our communities, because in, in a sense, we're all connected worldwide. So it's it not is. just one country, one continent, it's worldwide, you know? So we have to look out for our brothers and sisters everywhere. And the fact Absolutely. that your family started that legacy and, you know, gave you and your sister the baton and you're picking up the baton and you're not stopping. And I see great success stories coming from you. I'm so proud to have you here on House of Ramirez because it's truly an honor um, it really is. Um, I will ask you, though, um, there's this big film that's out, I, I, that's coming out. At, there's also the Pan-African Film uh, Arts Festival. I want to ask you about uh, your movie that you have written and directed. It's called African America. So can you please talk to us about what it's about and how you came about the idea for the film? Right. So the film is called African in America. It tells the story of this disgruntled um, South African who embezzles money from her accounting firm, leaves her traditionally wed husband to pursue a wildly unrealistic and misguided dream of being a Broadway star in New York City. But upon arriving in a very divided states of America, she learns the hard way that the grass is greener when you water it. Um, the story actually began with my business partner. She actually left South Africa to um, study a musical theater training back in 2014. And she came back eight months later and she was just very dejected and very sad. And so we took that and we created the story African America and through our US um, producer, um, Avril Speaks, an amazing um, uh, US um, independent filmmaker. Um, we partnered with her to actually work with um, crew and cast from both America as well as South Africa um, to in the telling of the story. And I'm very excited that it's debuting at the Pan-African Film Festival this year, albeit virtually. Yes, yes, yes. But you know, um, everything's due in due time for you. Um, and right now, you know, it's your time. It's your time to shine. I do know that you are a nominee for Best First Director in the Pan-African Film and Arts Festival for 2021. So kudos, yes, for kudos, you know, and I just want to go ahead and celebrate you in your moment. This is your time, Muzi. This is your time. Do not let anything hold you back. Focus on what you're doing and continue to you know, give others opportunity and just carry on in your light. You are a true, you know, light. And we need that. We need that now more than ever. Uh, you know, you have seen what everybody's going through around the world and we need representation. We need people that care about us that are actually going to produce films that keep us engaged. You know, we, we have heard stories, we have gone through things and we can relate to your films. We can relate to what you write. So you're right. giving us a part of, of how would I say something to we can hold on to and carry on and tell others about so we can, you know, explore things and also grow as individuals. So I want to thank you for that. Growing as an individual, it, it happens, you know, change is inevitable. You're going to grow and evolve. Um, but when you have the proper tools, the proper communities, the proper, um, you know, writers to help you navigate on that, sometimes people are visual and they watch films, others are readers, and you have the ability to give them a reality to escape from what we're actually going through and actually feel comfortable feel at home right. even when we're not right. home we feel at home so you're bringing right. us that so i want to thank you but for that no problem also it's about yeah give them an escape but also when they return back to their reality i hope they return empowered hope they return um motivated and hope they return with a sense of a greater sense of their own agency you know that's actually it's not just about empowering us in terms of like economically as a business, but also the message we put out there into the world. It absolutely echoes what you've just said now. That was a, quite a prophetic word that you just put for us. Thank you so much. <laughs> <Lizzie>. yes, <laughs> but you know, you're right. You're absolutely right. I tell others all the time, you have to be careful about what you say because everything you say comes to life. So the fact that you produce something and you create content 
that's something that's brought to life for us to take in and take a piece of word of encouragement, of drive from all the hard work that you've been pouring into that. So you are very, you know, strategic and careful to give us all that positivity in the perfect angles and the perfect settings, the perfect verbiage. Um, so we do, we do get that positivity back and, and it makes us think, it makes us, you know, appreciate everything that you're doing. So I, it, it takes a lot to do that. It takes a lot to be able to move people, you know, and that just means you're walking in your purpose. This is your destiny. This is your time. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, That's a yes. great interview. You're so amazing. Thank you. <laughs> well, you know, I did a little digging. Uh, shout out to um, your PR agent, Miss Daria. She's amazing. Um, yes. You know, we communicated and, you know, I did a little research and I'm just like, this young man has a lot going on for himself. He, you're paving the path. You're not waiting for somebody to give you this. You're, you're working, you're determined to work hard and come out with results and not only come out with results to the projects that you have, but that it's, it's a domino effect of results of positivity and reaction. Right. So it, it's just a whole cycle. It's a cycle of life. When you're walking that purpose, it's not just about you. It's also about helping others. And I, I'm just excited that you're on my show. Um, I hope that when the readers and the listeners and the viewers see this interview, they're moved to go out there and conquer their dreams. Whatever you want right. to do, it's out there. It's out there. Anybody can go out there and be great. And you're a perfect example of that. Thank you so much, Lily. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you <laughs> for the inspiration. Um, so I want to ask you, um, would you suggest entrepreneurship to our audience? And if so, why? Mm. I didn't see myself as an entrepreneur, really. It, was, it, it really was a calling that, that, you know, that came to me. It also is necessity, especially the, the um, track that we are now. It was out of necessity that, you know, that happened. I didn't even plan that I was going to be the one directing it. I thought someone more qualified was going to, um, was going to do it. You know, but having been on the journey, I really would recommend it to anybody who wants to actually have greater control over their destiny and also wants to contribute meaningfully to their communities. You know what I mean? Business, you know, has got such an incredible, awesome responsibility. It, it's more than just you making money for yourself and holding it for you. It's once you think of it, when you think of business as just about making money, it's so easy then to um to put out things that perhaps um, are more capricious and a bit more um, on trend, but not things that actually will last beyond you. And it's so important that um, if I would recommend entrepreneurship for anyone who really wants to make a meaningful impact in people's lives. And once you are an entrepreneur, to really respect your workers, um, to pay all your taxes, to be fair, you know what I mean? To really think of yourself as someone who's giving to and solving issues and solving problems in the world. Um, if that is a passion for you, then I think then I think absolutely go for it and go for it with humility, go for it with focus, go for it with dedication and um, and with grace and generosity in your heart. Uh, I would absolutely recommend entrepreneurship. Yes, yes, I will second that. Um, I will second that. Um, I believe that once you have that purpose in life that you have realized, held on to and are working towards, like you said, it's, it's much bigger than you, you know, and you, then it, it carries on to your day-to-day -day life. You're able to conduct the way you're refining yourself as an individual and into your purpose. You're able right. to propel that out to others and you're able to help others and, you know, being kind to others, uh, helping others is actually the ultimate goal, you know, yeah. um, regardless of what purpose and what walk and path of life that you are on. Um, so yes, and entrepreneurship is the way to go. You know, we were not placed on this earth to live somebody else's dream or a bigger corporation's dream. We were placed here to push our dreams, you know, and help others. So yes, I would definitely recommend it as well. So I want to thank you for that. Um, I hope that our young ones are, are, are even our, you know, our mature ones, they're listening they're seeing this and they're like, okay, well, I think it's time. You know, we always have that. I want to do this, but you have to have that faith in yourself 
So you can actually go ahead and take that step to bet on yourself and take that step of leap of faith. You know, you have to. Um, And I hope that your story actually encourages others to do that. It's time. We're seeing it time and time again. It's not spaced out anymore with different situations. It's back to back. Since last year, more than ever, we're seeing back to back reasons why we need to bet on ourselves, come together as a community, come together as a family, you know, and and I come and and I speak this from existence from from uh, situations that I've come from. So I don't speak on something that I don't know. Um, Sometimes there's there's differences in family, but you have to be able to mold that because we are here, we were given this family, you know, this is our family. And then once right. we're good at the core, we can build the rings and villages around us. Um, and, and that's how it was a long time ago. And slowly things have changed and divided things, but we have to turn things around, not only talk about it, be about it. So you're doing yeah. a phenomenal job. Um, you're using your platform and, you know, your film, your writing, the opportunities of employment that you're giving others, the trust and kindness that you're giving others to, to turn things around and come together. So, yeah. yes, thank you. Yeah. No problem. No problem. I gladly would do it. That's what I'm here for. Yes, yes. So I have another question for you. Um, what do you think that could make this world a better place? You, you know, mm. everybody lives life the same way. We are born, we live life, and then we die. And then in between that, we have the same footprints, just different paths. So yeah. coming from your path, Muzi, what do you think would make the world a better place? Oh, I would say what will make the world a better place. Um, is less polarization. I mean, it's, it's we have been watching the United States for the past, you know, four years, you know, and just seeing what's going on there and relating to it because in our own countries, you know, we are also seeing like, like family get togethers getting heated to the point that you can't even disagree productively, you know, towards solutions that actually do, you know, better us. Um, I think when I think about the big challenges that we have in the world, not only just a pandemic, you know, but also a climate crisis um, that we have that requires us to be unified, you know, that requires us to at least be able to work productively towards um, finding solutions that actually sustain not only us, but the lives of our children. And uh, after that, I would say really what the world needs now more than ever, I think it's just, um, and I don't usually like the word tolerance, but yes, a respect for others, a respect for diversity, um, and that we're not only just in terms of complexion or um, ethnic background, but diversity of opinion, diversity of approach, you know, um, I, I, I would say that that's what the world needs now. I think a bit less politics and it's a bit more cooperation, I'd say, yeah. Yes, definitely. The cooperation comes in hand in hand with communicating. You know, right. you have to communicate with others in a healthy manner to be able to find a middle ground. You might be here, right. I might be here, but if we communicate, we might find a middle ground and we can be right. fine, right? right. So right. Right. Um, yes, you're, you're right. We have to be able to, to think alike. We might not understand fully where others are coming from, but as long as we have that healthy line of communication and you know, we understand that they also are human and are going through challenges of life, if we all are able to communicate and work on things we have to put action on top of talking we can't just walk the walk or talk the talk we got to walk the walk yes yes so i completely agree with you um i believe that that would actually make the world a better place you know that and love and kindness i agree i agree yes love and yes. kindness yes. That's it. yeah so you know you're so successful um i'm, I'm proud of you um you're so successful um, I want to know what pieces of advice do you have for our up and coming entrepreneurs? And, you know, entrepreneurship right now, it ranges from different sizes, different ages, different everything. It's for everybody, including myself. Right. So right. seeing your greatness and what you're doing and the caliber that you're in, I want to know um, what are your pieces of advice? Mm. That no is not the end of the conversation. I have seen as we have grown in this particular project, there many, we had so many no's, you know what I mean, initially with this project. A lot of those no's 
are turning into yeses. The conversation changes as you grow as a business. And it's so important that people look, I, I would say the advice that I would give to entrepreneurs is don't burn bridges. If there are people who um, are, don't get are on board with your vision, give them time. You need to just continue to work and develop and prove your business case and prove um, the business model that, that you have, you know, and then they'll turn around or not. But even if they don't, ultimately, you can't let no's distract you from your purpose, distract you from what is it you need that you need um, to do. Um, and I think lastly, um, there's a stigma about um, giving up. You know, we always say don't give up, don't give up. And it's true. Don't don't ever give up. But also be adapt. Be willing to adapt, be willing to give up certain things in order to actually get the bigger goal in, in hand. So, for example, if something is not working out right now, ask, OK, what do I need to give up in order for it to? Do I need to give up um, my leisure time? Do I need to give up certain people that I'm surrounding myself with? Do I need to give up certain members of my team? Do I need to give up, you know, what, what, what do I need to do in order to be able to get to um, the next uh, level? So I, 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 I would say um, I don't be just don't be just. Don't be like distracted by no's and um, just, and always be flexible, always be flexible and willing to adapt and change. That's would be my advice to yes, entrepreneurs. Yes, yes. And, and I always preach that too. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I tell mm -hmm. people like you have to be able to see a way around something or through right. something. Sometimes right. it takes time for you to dedicate, go head on and fix the solution, right. find a solution to the uh, Find a solution to the problem, or mm -hmm. you could go around it. You don't even have to entertain that. Just go around right. it, push it to the side, and keep going forward. Right. Don't let anything right. stop you. And That's you right. have people have to understand that the road to success is filled with no's. You just found a way to get a yes. So mm -hmm. and and it mm -hmm. and it it builds you. You know, it builds character. Right. It builds right. resilience. So right. all those no's doors closed open right. up the right ones so right, right. you guys that are listening you're like this is tough like what do i do and, and it's okay if, if it right. wasn't meant to be thank you right. something right. else is better out there and also right. to second what you were saying we have to be able to adjust to different situations it can't always be my way i want this my way no right, right. as a creator right. you have to be quick on your feet you have to be able if this doesn't work i could do this or let me improvise and let me do this or maybe filter this out or filter these people out and then bring right, new people right. in and right. new cameras new something and just right. move go with the flow it's not always rigid sitting up straight and doing something you gotta Absolutely. move with the flow it's energy and when you feel Absolutely. the good energy you go towards it and that's where you're in the right place. So I completely back, agree. Thank you so much. And also go back to the, the film actually speaks of these very things. The film is about what do we do with our dreams, especially as people of color, you know, when we see, you know, uh, like for example, when we saw, saw the gross racial injustice that happened last year, you know, um, and when we see like how impacted, how the impact COVID has had on like black and brown communities around the world, you know, um, what do we do with our dreams? And what the film talks about is actually um, to not be materialistic in your dream and realizing that actually it's more important it's not so important to realize your dream as it is to realize who you are. And entrepreneurship really is that journey. It's that journey to realize how strong you are, how patient you are, how understanding you are, how good you are to others, you know? Um, and learning that creativity is not um, about ingenuity. It's really about problem solving, you know? And it, that's why it's important to work with creative people and to um, um, foster creativity within yourself. Um, as a leader um, yeah, I, I, so I encourage again people to just watch the movie for more of what it is that we're talking about um, yes yes absolutely and I think that that's very important as well we, we have to be able to do that and I love how your movie's able to give us that feel you know um, you can't be driven by money um, when you're walking your purpose if all you see is money you're not in the right place because at times as entrepreneurs, and again, I speak from myself experiences, we're doing things for free initially. We're giving, we're right. giving, we're giving, right. and it doesn't feel bad. And it doesn't right. feel bad because we're walking in that purpose. So when you love right. to do something, you don't mind giving. Um, right. Right. So yes, so absolutely yeah. focus on the purpose, on how to problem solve, like you mentioned, and everything will just flow. So right. yeah, definitely. I, I think that that's great. 
and not say money is the enemy. Money, like it's, it's important that your business makes money for your employees to pay people mm-hmm. on time to pay. It's, it's 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 your ethical responsibility is to make money, but you can't make money for its own sake. It's, you've got to see it as a tool to better yourself and better um your community and those around you. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's it's I speak money mantras in the morning. Um, shout out to my sister GHI. Um, she's all about growth, healing and you know empowerment of everyone um and she speaks money mantras and i'm all for that money does love us it has energy and if we see it as a tool as you mentioned we understand that it's going to come to us and we're going to spend it and it's going to come right back and it's just a cycle and it's an energy there's nothing wrong with understanding that money is indefinite and it's out there for all of us but we need to focus on the purpose and that just flows. So when you focus on the purpose, the money will just flow. Because like you said, it is our duty. It is our duty to produce capital and, and make sure that everybody's okay around us. But right. not worrying about that because it will always be there for us. Right, 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 right. Be more, more concerned about meeting a need than you are yes. about cashing a check, I think. Yeah. Yes. Then, then your business will flourish. Then the money will come to you once you are actually servicing the needs of the people around you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yes, I would, I would, yes. I would definitely espouse that. Yeah, that's phenomenal. Um, and you know, at the end, I always do a House of Ramirez shout out. I'm very oh, big already? on shout outs. Yes, yes. Oh, you are so great, Leslie. Like your positivity and just your encouragement, your words of encouragement right now. It's it's not only encouraging. I think your words, but it's also just me. I to, thank you so shout shout out to you. Thank you so much for this. Oh man, thank you. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's just a true honor, uh, Muzi. You do know that we're putting the spotlight on you today. I was so excited to, and I still am. I'm I'm like, <laughs> I have you on House of Ramirez. Like this is super awesome. And my thing is, you know, I want to know who has been in your corner that's like backing you up regardless of obstacles. And they're just like, boom, boom, boom. And they're backing you up, encouraging you. Who is in your corner that you want to go ahead and put the spotlight on and and just tell the world, you know, tell the world who's there for Muzi? Like, who is your shout out? My shout out, first of all, is my family, my sister, who's my business partner, you know, Pumalele Mtimbu, she has been... I can't emphasize just the role partnership actually makes in a business, whatever enterprise you want, want to have. And having partners of similar values to you, you know what I mean? So if one partner is valuing money, but you are valuing both an opportunity, the moment money is not there, your other partner might disappear. So I thank my sister for her fight. I thank her for, you know, um, just the combat, compatibility, compatibility of values that we have. I've got to give a, a shout out to um, Avril Speaks, who are you as co-producer for being so warm. I mean, we had this idea working with Americans would be this hard, we had this capitalistic idea of what, you know, working with an American, Ava was the complete opposite. She wasn't the shock that I had, you know, imagined. She had such grace and so generous with her knowledge. I think that was incredible. Daria Fennel, who I was a, a publicist for introducing us, getting this thing together, introducing me to so many amazing um, other entrepreneurs who are working, you know, I, I've got to give a shout out to her. But I also, I'd be remiss to not mention um, my government, uh, my national government, particularly the National Film and Video Foundation, as well as the How Think Film um, Commission, the grants that they give um, to filmmakers is so helpful at every level of, um, uh, of, of filmmaking. In fact, we have another project that, that we're actually developing through them, another film that, um, that I'm currently developing, and again, it's through um, uh, the grants that were given by our government. So yeah, I think the role, the political role that our leaders can play in us being able to um, um, achieve our entrepreneurial dreams, that can't be, uh, you know, understated. And I think, yeah, it, it has to be. I've got to thank you, and to you for being in our corner. Yes, yes, definitely have to acknowledge um, everyone that's able to help make this dream come true, you know? Shout out to everybody in your corner. Um, you know, the film industry is booming right now. It's booming right now in, in Africa. And you're part of that. That's a movement. That's not just something that's going on. Okay. No, everybody's watching. Everybody's paying attention. So you keep doing what you're doing, Muzi. You're doing a great job. You're an influencer and you're shifting things, you know, you know, and it's just amazing. 
Um, I will say you have to give credit where it's due. So yeah, shout out to Daria, shout out to your government and everybody else that has, you know, all hands on deck into your um, projects. Um, shout out to the new project you have coming out. Um, let us know where we can find you so we can go ahead and follow you, support you, and be engaged as to everything you're doing step by step. So we don't miss a beat. We want more of Woozy. 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 He's coming. Woozy's coming. Woozy's coming. Hey, yeah. <laughs> well, um, for all the company MP Productions, um, please go to our website, www.mpproductions.co.za. Um, also, for the film, African America, African America.tv. Um, as well as AfricanAmerica.tv on Instagram. Um, on Instagram, if you want to follow me, it's at Muzin Timbu. Let me spell that at M U Z I or M U Z I. That's what you guys say. M U Z I N T H E M B U. One word. Muzin Timbu. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much um, the platform where you can find us um, at, uh, uh, where you can get a hold of us to keep up to date with everything with every production is up to. Yes, and we will, we will. Our listeners, our readers, and our viewers, guys, y'all have to follow Muzi. He is a trailblazer. He's causing change. His family has this legacy that has, you know, given him the baton, and he's not stopping for anybody. So greatness is coming in his direction. He's moving with it. He's flowing with positivity, and we need to be engaged. We need to know what he's doing. We need to keep in tune. So guys, please go ahead and follow him in all of his projects. Shout out to you, Muzi. Thank you so much for being on my show. I appreciate you so much. Yes, and this is not the only time you're gonna be on my show. Next time you have another project and you get another nominee, I see you, I see you, King. You go ahead and let me know. We bring you back on and you let everybody else know exactly what you're doing. Absolutely, absolutely. My growth isn't for me alone, but for all of us. So I'm I'm very, very excited to come back and yes. share. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Muzi. And it was an honor, complete honor. Um, and until next time. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Bye-bye. Make sure to follow House of Ramirez on all social media platforms.